Hi there guys, I hope you're good today. So my name is Lyra Aoko. I'm a Kenyan based photographer and lifestyle blogger and today I'm going to show you all what is in my camera bag. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my camera bag because obviously that's where everything is kept. This camera bag, boom, is the best thing that happened to me. So the bag itself is a very beautiful first of all. It's a canvas material and then it also has leather lining. I'm so in love with the color because it never gets dirty. It's been through a lot. Inside is padded. So if ever the camera bag is to fall, my camera and everything is safe inside. You can get it from the Sandstorm store. This is not a paid endorsement in any way. It's just the best camera bag. I have ever owned ever and so we'll get right into the equipment first and foremost is the body it's a Nikon D750 I love this camera because it not only has an amazing quality but if I shoot overhead I can literally look rather point the camera down and then view the pictures as I'm working. So the next thing that's in my camera bag is a 50 millimeter lens. So the 50 is everything to be honest. It's like the most versatile lens you can own. I use this mainly for portraits because people say that it's the closest to the human eye. You know what you see is what you get. With this you can shoot food, you can shoot people, you can shoot events, you know, it's one of those lenses that you just need to have. This is the converted 85mm <laughs> 1.4. So the reason why I absolutely fell in love with this lens is because of the bokeh that it produces. Oh, this lens man. When you shoot it wide at 1.4, everyone just looks like cream and butter and you know beauty it's just I love you. it's an amazing lens and i use it for portraits only these two lenses are prime lenses i love prime lenses you really don't need an amazing camera body but if you can invest in lenses that's something that i definitely recommend because the quality is just you can't compare it to a zoom to be honest okay unless it's the 70 to 200 which is like my next goal but story for another day this is my third lens. In fact, it's the last one. I only own those three. This is the 24 to 70 millimeter. And I bought it because eh, there was an event I was shooting. And this event required me to walk a lot. And I was brave enough to shoot that event with a 50. And it backfired on me so bad. Although the pictures were good. I mean, the client loved them. But the work that I had to put at that event was just insane i love it because 24 is so wide and 70 is so close so this lens is what i use mostly for traveling i just wanted to add one more thing because i got it recently and it is bay this is my film camera it was actually owned by a guy who started shooting in 19 is it 73 yeah 73 guys you weren't, you weren't even a thought in your parents' lives, you know. This camera is amazing because it allows me to take it back old school, to shoot film, something that I wanted to do for a really long time. Shout out to Selena. Thank you for teaching your girl how to, you know, do something, something. So with this, I usually just load the film onto the camera. Extremely manual. You can't see anything as in you shoot, then you just pray for the best. I've really learned patience. I've learned how to take my time with shots you can't see anything so what what you see inside is what you get so you know with framing composition with you know just making sure everything is set right even before you click the camera that's what this has taught me and i love 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 the lens i actually have this as a lens although i've never used it um with my other body but this is a 35 millimeter um f 2.8 it works for me i absolutely love it it's also quite cute so whenever people see me with it they're like oh where'd you get that camera from and then i'm like i got it from dubai and then i'm like 
but I'm lying. Okay, I guess this is where the video stops. Thank you guys for tuning in.